Okay, good morning, super quick here, guys. Right, this is if you've finished all your stuff for of Mice and Men, if you've finished and completed, you've looked at your feedback and you've acted on your feedback, then you need to go on to this thing about Macbeth. It's our next controlled assessment. Right, title is Explore the ways that Macbeth and Lady Macbeth are presented in Act 2, Scene 2. Now, I don't mind if you just do it on one character. I put both in there. You can either do it about both or you can choose. I don't mind. Act 2, Scene 2 is the bit after Macbeth has killed King Duncan. Okay? So, what you're going to have to do, I mean, hopefully you've seen this bit before, don't worry if you haven't, um, you'll need to watch two versions of the scene. Right, you do that by clicking on this link here, which will take you to Charwell Online, to the right place on Charwell Online as well, if I just move that over. This, uh, so what have you got? You've got the animated tales, one, two, three. Okay, now, really you need to watch all of those things. You need to have watched all of those by uh, Tuesday's lesson, certainly. For now, if you wanted to get yourself back to remember what the story was, just watch the first one. And at the beginning of this one is the bit that you need to watch. Here he is. He's just about to king kill old uh, Duncan. All this sort of bit. Right, all this bit is the scene that you're doing. So watch that bit. As a minimum, watch to about... Uh, let's go two minutes into that to this one so I, if I was you I'd watch all of that and two minutes into that one okay more specifically there's two versions of the actual scene this one and that one okay which are the, the, the direct scene that you're looking at watch those two versions you then I've got I've given you the whole scene here all the words what you need to do when you're watching the scene when you're watching them off Charwell online keep Flicking over to this, or you can print this if you want and have it and do it by hand, but then annotate it. So you know what to do there. It's kind of picking out the key quotations from each character that you think are revealing. I've asked for five quotations which show interesting ways that Macbeth or Lady Macbeth are explored. When you're annotating, we'll go skilled and excellent for how we do it well. A skilled annotation will explain what it means and what it suggests about the character. So if I wanted to use this quote here, what hath quenched them hath given me fire. What I'd do if I was doing it on the computer, I'll show you how to do this here. Right, I would go to the review tab here and then insert new comment. See that? That allows you then to write your comment in here for this quotation. Or what you're going to say, this is the same stuff, explanation plus. Skilled annotation, it shows what it means and what it suggests about the character. So what it means is everyone else has got hammered, yeah? And they've all got drunk and they've been quenched. They've sort of, um, you know, they've stopped acting. It, it kind of put them out. Like if you quench your thirst. But not for Lady Macbeth. She can hold her drink. So it's given her fire. All this drink they've had at the, at the party celebrating Duncan's arrival at the castle has made her really strong and brave and powerful. Okay, so that's what you would put in there. Try and express that as well as you can. If you're struggling, then go back to our PE playlist which is now here and watch the evident explanation plus what do you say because basically with this annotation what I'm doing is asking you to do a series of explanations all right but without the point and evidence that evidence is obviously here already um, we're just finding the quotes that we think will be useful right great obviously ask me if that's a problem otherwise crack on well done guys